Welcome back everybody. Hello, welcome to another international taste test. Today we're trying out some snacks and treats from Yokohama, Japan. Thank you very much Yumiimi-san for sending us these very delicious food and snacks and drinks. So we have a lot of specialty items from Yokohama as well as the Kanagawa prefecture. Mm -hmm. It's a second largest city in Japan. Yeah, and it's a perfect place to go on a day trip from Tokyo, Kamakura as well as Yokohama. In fact, we go to Kamakura and Yokohama, well, many times throughout the year because mm -hmm. it's so nearby. This is Yokohama Bill. The craft bill, the one of the craft bill, Doshi no Yusui Jiko Mi. Mm, what does that mean? Doshi is a name. Okay. Doshi is a uh, Name of village in Kanaga Prefecture. I see. And Yusui is uh, the spring water. Spring water. Mm -hmm. The spring water from Kanaga Prefecture. Yes. Kara is umber. Yes, it's very beautiful. Beautiful. It's like a caramelly color. Mm -hmm. All right. A little bit cloudy. I think it has depth. Well, you never know until you try. Takimasu. Takimasu. Mm. Mm. Oh. It's like a brown beer. I taste honey. Brown beer. Is there honey in here? Or is, is it just like the, the aftertaste or something? It's really pleasant. Mm -hmm. It has like... I don't think they are using honey. And by the way, if you hear that funny sound, that rumbling in the background, it's because they're doing construction on our balcony because our balcony in the back was broken from the typhoon last year and they're finally getting to fixing it. <laughs> to go along with the beer is the next thing we have this bacon is from Kamakura Hamu Murai Shokai. Kamakura is where ham making in Japan started, and this is one of the. <laughs> <laughs> this company is one of the original companies that started making ham. Check it out. There are um, six pieces of uh, bacon, mm -hmm. dry bacon, very peppery, very peppery. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's a little bit oily, mm -hmm. of course, because it's bacon after all. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's yummy. That's delicious. You know what I like about this is that it's very tender. It's not that so salty. It's not that salty. Mm. I like that point. Yeah, me too, me too. Because um, it's easy to eat a lot mm. of it. Which mm. I'm not sure if that's a mm. good or a bad thing. But very, very flavorful. Once again, really tender and goes really well with this beer, I think. Next one is like rice cracker. It is called Daishimaki no Nakami. Daishimaki is a rice cracker wrapped with a nori seaweed. Okay, but this one doesn't have nori seaweed this around This one has not, not mm. nori. Actually, on her notes, it says that this is the inside <laughs> of the one that she gave us, which mm -hmm. we are, we've already eaten on a live stream, That's actually. Yeah. It was so delicious. So basically, this is like um, the pieces of rice crackers that kind of like broke apart, yes. so they yes. decided to sell mm -hmm. it instead of throwing it away. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. This rice cracker is so good. Daishi means Kawasaki Daishi. Kawasaki Daishi is a very popular uh, temple in Kanagawa Prefecture. Oh, okay. So is this like you can buy at the temple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around the temple. You can around buy the temple. around the temple. There are so many shops okay. around the temple. Like Satoshi said, these are deep fried rice crackers seasoned with soy sauce. It's a little bit on the sweet side, but that's what makes it really, really delicious. And these are super addictive. The next thing is matches with this rice cracker. Really? What is it? Tea. Tea! That's right! I almost forgot about the tea. So, um, this is green tea. Maruyaka no aji wa ashigara cha. Ashigara cha. Ashigara cha. Ashigara is the name of the place. Okay. In Ka Kanagawa. In Kanagawa Prefecture. Okay. And this is what it looks like and it is beautiful. Yeah, rice cracker is usually, if it's eaten as a snack, it's usually eaten with some green tea. So this is perfect, like you said. Thank you for reminding me. I completely forgot about the green tea in front of me because <laughs> I was just so into the beer. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so different from the one that you get at the vending machine. It has a much deeper green tea taste. Very refreshing tea flavor, and tea flavor is 
Yeah, you, you, you said it's different from a vending machine. Mm, it's deeper and it has a much richer yeah. tea taste. Natural tea flavor. It, it's a lot more leafy, I guess. Leafy. Like, yes, like yes, a leafy yes. taste. Does that make any sense? The next one is Okayu. It's konji or rice glue. Mm -hmm. This one is from Heichin Ro. Oh, Heichin Ro. That's a famous Chinese restaurant in yes. Yokohama Chinatown. Yes. Yokohama Chinatown, Chinatown is the largest Chinatown in Japan. Mm -hmm. This flavor is scallop. Scallop, dried scallop. Dried scallop. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. oh my mm. god. Whoa, that's yummy. Mm. This has so much flavor. <laughs> the flavor from the, the scallops, um, the flavor of the ocean, a little bit salty, a little bit briny. It's really flavorful. I love this, the scallop flavor. Now to this, we're gonna add something. The next thing we have is bubu arare. Bubu arare. And this is also from Yokohama, Japan, from Iwai's Sesame Oil. Mm -hmm. This is the name of the company. And um, bubu arare is a small rice cracker seasoned with soy sauce. And in this case, they also added the traditional Iwai's Sesame Oil, which is the next one right here. This is the uh, Iwai's Sesame Chili Oil. So, so uh, we're going to be trying both of these. Um, once again, they're both from Yokohama. So you can eat this as a snack, oh, oh. first of all. Mm, 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 mm. They're very, very tiny. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Talking about... Ma! Oh! Okay, this is different. This is not only soy saucy, but it has that chili oil. Chili oil. That chili oil. Sesame, sesame oil. Sesame oil. Mm. Oh, that's delicious! Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna pour some of this bubu arare into our uh, okayu. Let's mm -hmm. try it with the bubu arare, shall we? Mm. Mm. It gives yeah. a nice crunch. Yeah, mm. this texture, mm. very fun. It is, it is. It doesn't give too much flavor, uh, like to the point where it, it changes the taste of the okayu. It doesn't at all. You can still taste the scallop. And it's really nice. It just adds a nice texture with just a little bit more flavor. Mm -hmm. The sesame mm -hmm. flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, next we're going to be adding in the uh, chili oil from the same company. Uh, this smells amazing. Mm -hmm. You can tell this is like really high quality sesame oil. Oh! My! That just like pushed everything up a level or two. So much flavor now. You can still taste the scallop, but now you have the taste of the chili oil and as well as the sesame oil. It's the first bite, mm. it's not spicy, mm. but now it comes to my throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has a kick, <laughs> but it's really, really nice. good. Guys. The, I love this. I love this sesame flavor. I love this sesame flavor, not only chili flavor. This... I love this sesame flavor, not only chili flavor. <laughs> this sesame flavor is really good. Mm. And you cannot forget that bubu arare crunch. Yeah. That adds a lot to this. So the next one is a spaghetti napolitan sauce from Center Grill. And Center Grill is a, it, it, it's a pretty old shop. They've been in operation since 1946. Um, they serve, they've been serving this uh, napolitan spaghetti. Now, FYI, if you didn't know, napolitan is a Japanese invention. It is not an Italian spaghetti. Just to let you guys know, because I know a lot of people get upset. They're like, this is not Italian food, but it's not Italian food. Napoleon is born in Yokohama. Yes, at the Grand Hotel New Hotel. Grand. Hotel New Grand, that's right. Hotel New Grand. It looks really good and it smells amazing. Yeah. Napolitan spaghetti is like comfort food for me. Mmm. Hmm. Wow. The softness of the spaghetti just reminds me of my my childhood days. This is so good. It is. Mm. You can actually taste the bell peppers. You can taste the vegetables. Yeah, yeah. And a little bit of creamy. Creamy. Of the butter. The butter. It's because mm -hmm. of the butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when my mother makes a napolitan, she doesn't add butter. She uses the oil instead. But 
I, I like it with butter. It's delicious. Delicious. Yeah, and there's bits of bacon in here. I also mm. see mushrooms. This is a restaurant quality. Restaurant quality, <laughs> yes! Quality. Next is something we are a fan of. We are a fan of Mapo Tofu, that Szechuan cuisine dish. We love authentic Mapo Tofu. This is um, a microwavable one that serves three to four people from the famous Chongqing Chinese Szechuan restaurant in Yokohama, Chinatown once again. This is created by a famous chef there. And this was easy. All you had to do was cut up the tofu, cut up the tofu, and pour out this sauce on the on the tofu, mm -hmm. and just microwave. Yeah, really, really simple. Mix it up and eat it over rice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, the Chinese pepper, guajiao. Mmm, that's a good kick. Very mm. good kick. Mmm. Mm. Very, very mm. authentic tasting mapo tofu, I have to say. Mm, I love this. Oh, this is delicious! You know, it's not that spicy. Like, it's not super, super spicy, like, mm. I guess, like, uh, how a super authentic mapo tofu would be. The hua but the taste is there. Hoja Obreba is stronger than the, the spiciness, mm -hmm. the numbing. A little mm. bit of numbing. A little bit, yeah. What is the most famous food in Yokohama? What do you think? The most famous food. Mm -hmm. Shumai. Yes. Next one. It's shumai. shumai. Yes. <laughs> and this is the, the popular brand is Kyoken. That's right. It's my mother's favorite brand yeah. of Shumai. And this is, it doesn't look like Shumai, but no. this is Shumai. Yeah. I think um, it's supposed to look like Ebichiri, ebichiri. which is like shrimp in chili sauce, which is like a typical. Uh, Chinese food here in Japan. I'm not sure if it's authentic Chinese food, but it's a pretty popular dish here. The sauce looks like your typical um, shrimp in chili sauce mm -hmm, sauce, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but of course this is uh, shumai. shumai. Uh, it's a pork dumpling instead of the shrimp that you usually have. And uh, we're serving it over rice because the box says that's the serving suggestion. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's your um, typical Kyoken shumai. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of Kyoken shumai. It's a very, very retro style uh, dumpling, and I don't know, like, it's not my favorite, favorite type of shumai. And the taste definitely comes through, it's very strong. In my opinion, mm -hmm. the shumai. I like Kyoken shumai, mm. but eat as it is, eating as it is, it is better. It's better, <laughs> definitely. But the sauce is mm. good. Mm. Like the sauce of the rice mm. is but, good but without the shumai. The is interesting. And the sauce is also good. Mm. But with, with the shumai, mm, I think they clash. <laughs> like they're fighting each other. The mm. taste of the meat mm. and the taste mm. of the, the, the sauce because mm. Once again, Kyokin Shumai has a very like strong meat flavor. Mm. And I feel like shrimp definitely works better mm -hmm. in this sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So the next one is Fumi no Aru Kenmin Soumen. Means flavor for local people's soumen. This soumen is using local flour, only local flowers. Oh. And I cooked in, in the hot water. But I realized the color is a little bit different it from is, the yeah. regular one. Yeah, it was thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's darker than the regular soma. The mm -hmm. soma is usually pure white. Mm -hmm. We're dipping it in a your normal uh, soba soup, right? With yeah. some green onions mm -hmm. inside. Mentsu yu. Mentsu yu. Mm. I think it has a little bit stronger chewiness than the regular yes. soma. Mm. It does. It really does. It has a little more bounce and a, a little more bite to it. Mm. Does it have a special taste? Let me see. I'm going to try it without the mm. soup. Mmm. 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 Mm. Actually, you know when I eat regular salmon, like, you know, the, 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 the very reasonable, uh, cheaper version from the 100 yen store, the somen noodles are actually a little salty. This um, is not. There's, there's no like mm. salty flavor at all whatsoever. It's almost like there's no salt in here. 
but it is very pure and clean mm -hmm. and I can enjoy the, the flower flower flavor huh? yes yes okay so yeah this is pretty mm. good I have to say this mm. is pretty good mm. I gotta take one more bite mm. Delicious. Mm. So we got one more thing guys, we have dessert. These are Kit Kats and I've never seen this particular Kit Kat. Um, I have a feeling you can only find this in Yokohama because this is a collaboration between Kit Kat and Yokohama Harbor. Ah, the Yokohama Harbor. <laughs> oh. Yes, which is one of my favorite things to buy in Yokohama. It's, it's basically a buttery pastry with um, like cream inside and you can you can find it all over the place in Yokohama but it's a collaboration between them and Kit Kat and this is chestnut flavor. Um, I'm not exactly sure if the Yokohama Harbor is chestnut flavor. Chestnut flavor. I don't remember it being chestnut Chisnuts. flavor. Mm -hmm. I, I, for me, I just remember it being super buttery and the first time I had it, it was so good. It tastes mm -hmm. like heaven mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. The buttery flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. First of all, I don't know why, but all Japanese Kit Kats has the same um, flavor. I think that's the taste of the wafer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the flavor is not that strong. If you didn't tell me what flavor it was, <laughs> I cannot taste the chestnut. Can you taste the chestnut? In deep, 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 but I can taste. Like if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm thinking I'm eating chestnuts, so I can taste the chestnuts. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The Japanese Kit Kat has a very similar, very similar flavor. Mm. If you don't know that, mm. please watch our Kit Kat challenge. Well, that was a funny one with Eric Surf 6. Yes. That was hilarious. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad, but I do have to say if you go to Yokohama, you might as well buy the, 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 the original um, Yokohama Harbor pastry. I think you're better off doing that because this one I don't get that same satisfaction. What was your favorite? Mapo tofu. The mapo tofu. <laughs> Can we choose two? Can you choose two, please? Napolitan. The Napolitan. Oh, that one too. I almost I completely forgot about that one. Damn. Okay, my two favorite is the mapo tofu. Mm -hmm. That one was amazing, and. The beer! Yeah. The beer! Wow. The Yokohama beer. It's pretty rare you choose beer. I think it's the first time I'm choosing a beer. Maybe. This <laughs> beer was super special. Mm -hmm. I like that honey taste. I, I don't think there's any honey in it, but it's just like a natural occurring flavor. Either that or it's all in my brain. I don't know, maybe I have, I don't know, something. But that was one of the best beers I've had in my entire life. I'm glad you choose beer. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're glad that. <laughs> I'm glad that you're glad. Once again, thank you so much to Yumi Yunisan for sending us these treats. We had such a great time trying them out and now we have some favorites that we can buy the next time we go to Yokohama. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.